What techniques can be used to keep the team engaged during long scrum events? Well, as an easy one, don't have long ones. Okay. Have them as short as you can get away with to get the job done. Very often when I'm teaching scrum, people are surprised. A month long sprint, eight hours of planning and they ha they can't imagine it. They don't want to do it and I don't blame them. I've done it. Um, so if you want a really simple answer, don't do an eight hour meeting. Put four hours in the diary and even then break it up further. Do it in little chunks. You know, work out what matters for this section and then have a break and come back and do a bit more and have a break. So when facilitators do ask this, how do I keep people engaged for the whole meeting? Just don't have a meeting that long. Hi, my name's John McFadgen. I'm a certified Scrum trainer with Scrum Alliance. I'm the managing partner at Agile Center and I've been in the Scrum and Agile world now for over 20 years. So if you're not gonna have a long meeting, but you've got an eight hours of sprint planning, how do you do it? Well, as I said, break it down into smaller pieces. And I think sprint planning is the typical culprit because it is the big one. Okay. We've got the what and the why and the how. We need to understand what is it we're gonna do? Why does this stuff matter, the sprint goal? And how are we gonna deliver it, the plan? Well, the what and the why go together quite nicely. So instead of having one huge meeting, a lot sometime we're gonna answer the questions this is what we think we're going to do. This is why we think it's going to matter. And that might be 45 minutes. Okay. Now let's say we're going to work in a two week sprint. So we've got up to about four hours, 45 minutes. Great. Let's nail those. This is what we think we're going to do. This is why it matters. We're going to have a conversation. It's really easy to keep people engaged for that short a time, even online, as long as you can get them out of their email or out of Slack or whatever other distractions they've got up on their screen and engage them in a conversation, ask them questions, okay. and then break, and then come back in five or 10 minutes and say, okay, we've got a thing, how do we do it? Let's break it down, let's work out how to deliver this. Very much the developers thinking about how to do the work. Okay. But this leads me to one of the other things, not everything has to be done all together. I'm a big fan of getting everybody on a call for a meeting or in a room and having a discussion. But if everybody's in one meeting room, one person can be talking. And hopefully the others are thinking, but only one person's adding information. So why not instead break them down to smaller groups or individuals? Right? The one, two, four, all technique coming out of liberating structures is a great thing to keep in your back pocket. If you've got a question to be answered, how do we solve this? Okay, everybody in the team, I want you to grab pencil and paper and just spend some time brainstorming. No need to talk, just put down how you would tackle it. What are you thinking? What are the questions you've got? And after a period of time, combine individuals together to make pairs. That's the two in one, two, four, all. And then the pairs into fours. And then assuming you've got enough people, combine everybody together. You can break things down, but you can use it as a sharing. So the individual, people who like working on their own in their heads have got that opportunity. The people who like talking have got that opportunity. And the information will flow from the one to the pair to the four all the way through to the whole team without us all sitting around listening to John talk yet again. There are lots and lots of techniques that we can use. And in fact, to really get a grip on facilitation, to lead great meetings, we need many of these techniques because we're looking to continually balance people's involvement, their engagement. Okay. The main things we as facilitators need to do in any meeting, any event, okay, is get people out as quickly as we can, having fulfilled the purpose of the meeting. So break things up, use different techniques, keep people engaged, keep people focused on what matters and you will get out quicker, which just about everybody wants when it comes to meetings.